Many artists are remembered through the centuries, yet very few politicians are. Tonight, we're taking a look at the intersection of poetry and politics. We talked with Bestor Cram, the producer director of JFK, The Last Speech, at the kickoff event for the Arlington International Film Festival, which opens November 7th. It was late October 1963, the height of the Cold War. When power corrupts, poetry cleanses. John F. Kennedy gave a remarkable address to the students at Amherst College. And it's a speech that is reveals a degree of eloquence and his understanding of sort of the role in which he imagined the power of the presidency would continue to be expressed. It isn't a, a speech that got a lot of consideration. Because of his assassination, we lost his words. And we lost the meaning sometimes by, behind his words as we came to terms with our own grief and trying to struggle with the change that this country was going through at that particular time. The huge potential of a college audience like this didn't escape Kennedy. He gave this speech because he was eulogizing Robert Frost. He gave the speech out at Amherst College. So the film covers all of those things, as well as um, some of Amherst graduates who attended the school um, dedication of the library, heard Kennedy, and had their lives reshaped by the challenge that Kennedy gave them in terms of the way in which they were going to express themselves for the next 50 years. Word for word, one of the best Kennedy ever delivered. It's the fascinating story behind the speech given just weeks before his assassination. He wanted to have language that mattered. JFK, The Last Speech, 